God bless you, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the Lord. I just wanted to encourage you guys and just say, you know, God is so good and he is with every single one of you that no matter what goes around on the social media sites, on the news, uh, no matter what's being promoted, what's being shared, you know, even if there's truth to what's being shared, I just want you to know that we have the Lord Jesus Christ and we can rest in him. We can rest in the finished work of the cross. We can rest in what Christ did for us. Jesus is enough. And his love for us continues on forever. We know that God will never leave us nor forsake us. God says that I will be with you until the end of age. That is a promise from the Lord. So many times in scripture, he tells us, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. God is always with us, no matter what trouble hits in our, in our, in our life, no matter what comes against us, God is for us. So I just want to encourage you to know that God loves you. And no matter how fiery and strange these trials can be, God will always give us the strength to endure and to have victory in the name of Jesus. There is victory in Christ. There is peace in Christ. There is joy in Christ. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And truly it is. When we exalt God and we just lift him up high, something beautiful happens. His presence is manifested in such a profound and powerful way. And it's like every worry we ever had just fades away. He just burns it off of us. So I just want to encourage you that God is with you. And that God says, if I am for you, then who can be against you? Right? God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So just let us trust in him in everything that we do. No matter what the situation entails, we know that God will have a plan for us. And we just have to seek him. Just seek him in prayer trust that he will open doors trust that he will provide trust that he will protect trust that what he says in his word is true do you believe in the words of the lord that is so important do you believe our belief in the lord is everything our faith is the only thing that pleases the father and our faith is in his son we believe that Jesus Christ is capable, then we have nothing to fear. Really, we have nothing to fear. If we really believe in God, we have nothing to fear. Perfect love casts out all fear, and Christ is perfect love. So when we abide in him, he abides in us. When we draw near to him, he draws near to us. So trust in the Lord and know that he will always be with you, fighting your battles. Sometimes God just wants us to be still so that we can know that he is God. We want to see him move. We want to see him really move in our lives in such a powerful way. But we can't do that if we're constantly trying to fight the battle on our own understanding. Yes, God will call us to stand up and rise up and take charge, you know, but it's through him. It is him. His Holy Spirit that dwells within you. It is him that gives you that unction. Those words to speak. Those thoughts. That, that ability to act upon things. It is the power of God that dwells within you that gives you that unction to do so. We don't step out on our own understanding. We only step out when the Lord calls us to. So I encourage you guys to know that God is for you. He loves you. He's with you. He is strengthening you right now. Thank you, Father, for your peace that washes over every single one that is listening in on this right now. Thank you, Father God, for being with them and encouraging them. I pray that their faith will increase in you. And I pray that all fear, all worries, every bit of stress that's upon their life will just completely fall off right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for giving them rest in you. And I pray, Father God, that they will never forget you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Be encouraged.